لا لا انت اللي بدأت حتى انا اخرس لا 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 يا انت اللي بدأت يا شاكر شاكر انت اللي كنت شاكر يا اخوان انت اللي بدأت لا يا انت اللي بدأت يا سيدي لا لا What you've just witnessed is two middle-aged Arab men playing tug-of-war with a desk that was apparently held together with chewing gum, which I think is the perfect introduction to Memory TV. Memory is a news organization that translates Middle Eastern news into English. Now, I wouldn't take them too seriously as a news organization since they've been caught just outright changing what people say before, but it is pretty goddamn funny nonetheless. I just wanted to show it off to you, and if you're wondering why I have this on, it's because I have a bad breakout on my forehead right now and I don't want that immortalized on camera for the entire internet to enjoy. Now, these two Jordanian men were arguing over the war in Syria. I don't know specifically what about, but the, ver the very fact that they cared this much about their opinions, that they were willing to go to blows over it, makes it a lot better than American news. I mean, most American newscasters won't defend their opinions against harsh criticism. <laughs> Next up, we have these two Iraqi commentators discussing Saddam Hussein. I don't know specifically what they were talking about in regards to Saddam Hussein, but uh, things got a bit heated. <laughs> Now, that first guy threatened to cut out the other man's tongue, which is, you know, just a classic threat. And then the camera cuts away from their fighting to showcase the name of the show, which is The Democratic Club. Now, that's a great name, in my opinion, because this is what democracy is all about. It's about killing the shit out of everyone who disagrees with you. <laughs> And then one of them calls the other an Iranian, which is extremely rude. I mean, nobody chooses to be born in Iran. So next up here, we have a Saudi cleric discussing the grip that Disney has over all of cinema. I'm sure he'll have a level-headed take on the situation. And as you can see, I was 100% correct here. The only way to end Disney's iron-like grip on the media is a jihad. Of course, the real MVP of this entire clip is the sign language interpreter down there. That's, gr that's good, that's really good. We need to get deaf kids to hate the mouse as well. So this clip is a Sudanese imam who is upset about something to do with Adam and Eve and something to do with textbooks, I'm not sure. I'm just letting it play in the background. Uh, I'm not repeating any of this footage at all. He is just shouting Allah, Allah over and over again. However long you think he goes, he goes longer. Uh, I'm not going to have the whole thing playing, but you, you can see he's, he's still going back there. He's, he's going a little nuts. Uh, I am just going to skip to the end real quick. <laughs> Allah, 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 Allah. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's two men yelling at each other about something or other. They start hurling insults and they start throwing water and then they physically attack each other. This is the real life equivalent of an argument in a YouTube comment section. It's pointless and everyone is worse off for it. I have nothing to add here. It's pretty self-explanatory. I just find it really funny. <laughs> So 
So this copyright evading Mickey Mouse clone is from a Palestinian children's show. An Israeli man wants to buy all of Farfour's land, but Farfour is refusing to do so, and then the Israeli guy beats him to death. It cuts away while he's dying to this small young girl who just announces his death very calmly. I mean, just look at the raw emotion here. Now's a good time to let you know that memory just hates a lot of things. They, they just, they hate many, many things. But among the things that they hate, there is still a hierarchy. Like, the number one thing that they hate most of all are Jews, uh, followed by Shiites, who are just Muslims, but they're the wrong kind of Muslim, uh, and then women, just all women in general. Uh, number four is Americans. Number five are Arabs, but like the wrong kind of Arabs. You know, Jordanians really hate Palestinians, and they really hate Iraqis, and they really hate Saudis. You know, they're, they're like the wrong kind of Arabs again. And number six are just Jews again. Yeah, these, these folks do not like our Semitic friends. And I think that's enough for today. That was really just an intro to Memory TV. Uh, it, you could always look up more on your own. You know, they have their own website. You can find clips on YouTube all, all over the place. Uh, just, you know, if you want to watch Arab men yell at each other for reasons you're not quite sure of, if you want to watch fights break out over stupid reasons, uh, it's, it's pretty goddamn funny. So that's all. Goodbye. أنت تعرف أن صدام أعدم شقيقي وأعدم الكثير من من أتباعي ومن أقربائي وأعدم خال أولادي ولكن صدام بالطريقة التي أعدموه بها أثبت نفسه أنه رجل وشجاع 